Scene 36, take one. Hi, I am Franziska Hüttner and I'm a double board certified plastic surgeon. My practice name is uh, Manhattan Plastic Surgery NYC. And I'm here to answer some of your top questions. One of the frequently asked questions that patients direct to me, they come in and want to know more about breast reduction surgery. They often just come to inquire and to more information about it and see if they would be good candidates for it. Breast reduction surgery is a procedure that reduces the weight of the breast and it can actually significantly help with neck pain, back pain, uh, or shoulder discomfort. Most importantly for the women, most of them are unable to actually go and buy a bra in a normal store. So for them to gain the ability to just walk into a store and to be measured and to buy a normal bra, it's just like regaining peace of their freedom. Um, and so they feel much better in clothing. They can uh, participate in exercise much easier. Um, so they frequently ask me about this and how they would feel. And they also ask about how painful the operation is and how much pain they will have afterwards. And I always say that this is one of the few surgeries that patients usually have less pain afterwards than they expected. And another really interesting factor it is that we always talk about nipple sensation. Women are uh, worried about what will happen to their nipple sensation with this type of surgery. And I always tell them that nipple sensation may change with the operation. Uh, many women uh, have the same sensation afterwards, but it can also decrease. I usually say that we won't know really for about one to two years what the final nipple sensation will be, but it's really exciting. I had now so far 18 patients in my career that actually had more nipple sensation afterwards uh, than before. So it's actually really a nice surprise to them sometimes. Patients are uh, especially currently uh, worried about uh, safety aspects of surgery. Um, and I'm commonly asked about risk factors with fat augmentation of the buttocks or BBL or Brazilian butt lift as we call it. And so it's really important to talk to the patients about it and to counsel them uh, before surgery about the risks associated with it. The other risk that we're now being more frequently asked about is the use of textured implants versus smooth implants and what my opinion is on that. And so I do review with the patient uh, what the risks are and the um, incidence of uh, uh, breast implant associated ALCL and what we know about it. And it's really important to, as a provider, to take the time to sit down with the patient and to talk to them about it because women are concerned and women want to know the answers to all those questions. So. Um, so within the mommy makeover, a lot of patients want to address the shape and the form of their breasts, but also how their tummy looks. And so I talk to the patients about either staging the procedures or doing it all at once, but the abdominoplasty itself is also by itself a very commonly asked for procedure. And I always ask my patients about what is more important to them or what, where do they want to focus on at the moment? Is it more the breast or is it more the uh, the belly that they want to focus on and reshaping, or is it pretty much both? Uh, and so I frequently talk to them about uh, abdominoplasty as well as liposuction in combination with the abdominoplasty to really reshape the woman's body so she feels confident in her clothes, feels confident going to the beach again, and just in general, feeling more confident about herself. Because I believe that every woman and every man should feel the best they can and they should, they should look the best they can. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And uh, if you have any additional questions, feel free to uh, contact my Real Self profile and uh, we, my office staff and I would be happy to answer any additional questions that you may have.